Thanks for checking out the Bosch and Roll channel. If you want to see me play your deck, hang out with me and the amazing Bosch and Roll community in Discord, access to my lists and sideboard guides before tournaments, book an individual coaching session, or just generally want to support what's going on here, check out the Patreon and YouTube membership options. For the finest Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, use code Bosch and Roll for 10% off your order at coalesceapparel.shop. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. If you want to play what I'm playing, use my affiliate link to support the channel while you shop for cards at tcgplayer.com and play any deck anytime on Magic Online with a cardhoarder.com loan account. Thanks for being here. Let's go play some Magic. Welcome back for another Boston Roll Legacy video. Today I have a crazy one from Patreon subscriber Morgan. This is Kitten Tide. Named, of course, after Displacer Kitten which was a hot one on this channel, a deck that I actually won a real tournament with in real life. And then the heat sort of wore off. We had new toys come out. Minsk and Boo are legal now. Maddening Hex is on Magic Online. We got all this stuff now, and the poor kitten is forgotten, but not by Morgan. And not only is this the kitten combo deck, which, for those of you keeping score at home, if you have Teferi Time Raveler and Displacer Kitten in play, if you cast a zero mana spell, you can flicker to fairy, and then to fairy can minus with its new loyalty counters to return that zero mana spell to your hand, and you get to draw a card. And then you can cast that zero mana spell again, flicker to fairy again, and do that again and again. And you get to draw as many cards as you want until you run out of them, and hopefully you have two mana left to cast Thassa's Oracle with. That's that combo. But wait, there's more. There's also High Tide in this deck. High Tide is until end of turn, whenever a player taps an island for mana, it makes an additional blue. This is a crazy one. It lets you do cool things with untap effects. And in this deck, there's Cloud of Fairies and Snap. This is a little different than a normal High Tide deck that plays Turnabout or Candelabra of Taunos. Uh, they normally play Cunning Wish, but all of those spots are eaten up by the other combo in the deck. So we're getting a little creative here. Cloud of Fairies, when it enters the battlefield, you untap two lands. Displacer Kitten causes it to enter the battlefield. Between the Spellseeker, the merch Spellseeker can get Snap, and then you Snap, Target, Cloud, and when you Snap, Target, Cloud, you Flicker, Spellseeker. You can shred most of the spells out of your deck while generating mana while you do that. It's pretty crazy. I was moving around with the moving parts of this deck before I went live, and I replaced Brain Freeze with Thassa's Oracle because some decks aren't susceptible to Brain Freeze, like decks that contain Emrakul or Progenitus or decks with Endurance can just Endurance themselves, and then Brain Freeze isn't lethal. But I'm thinking now that I'm looking at this, like with the Spellseeker Flicker package, that Brain Freeze probably is something we want against most decks. I'm going to cut one of the Sapphire Medallions for the, to get Brain Freeze back. Okay, we're down to three Medallions, plus one Brain Freeze. Medallion is kind of extra here. Blue spells cost one less to cast. This isn't really necessary if you're already doing High Tide stuff, but it does help you get Displacer Kitten into play faster. It also goes a little... Busted with Cloud of Fairies and Snap, even without High Tide, because these are now one mana spells that untap two lands. So you get to net mana when you play Snap or Cloud. I'm going to leave the Sapphire Medallions there, though I do wonder if they'd be better off as Turnabout if we go closer to a more traditional High Tide build and just keep the kitten stuff at the top end. I'm going to leave Medallions there, and we're going to keep an eye on it during the, the League. Yeah, I think that story holds out. The Medallion does make Teferi cheaper, makes Displacer Kitten cheaper, makes all your untap effects cheaper, the Tide, the Cloud, all of that stuff. Spellseeker costs two instead of re. That's the difference between being able to snap it on repeat and not doing that. Yeah, I like Medallion. We're going to roll with that. The trick with this deck is normally a high tide deck would be grinding up mana until it can find a Cunning Wish and then Cunning Wish for something like Blue Sun Zenith to either reload their own hand or kill their opponent depending on how much mana they have left. This one is grinding until it finds Displacer Kitten and then we start 
going sideways with our interaction, which for what it's worth, I think is worse than high tide if your only goal is to win as many matches as possible because high tide being completely creatureless gives you dress down as a sideboard thing it blanks removal spells in the main deck getting you virtual card advantage that combo decks love all those things are true it's just not what we're doing today deal with it those are some visible structural problems but i think leaning into the meme is the place to be here in the sideboard Morgan had just a ton more counter spells. Like there were four packed of negation across the 75, three of them in the sideboard, one in the main. And there were some decisions in the sideboard, like one meditate that looked like it was a cunning wish board, but there is no cunning wish. So what are we doing with one meditate in our 95 card deck? I think I said 75 a second ago, but it's also a Yorian deck because why the hell not? We need room for all these sweet spells. I added some brazen borrowers. I added a hydro blast. I added defense grid. Those are like more my speed when we're doing this sort of thing. I like the generic a action on Brazen Borrower, being able to remove a Chalice of the Void or just beat down, or both. All useful things in a deck like this. And Defense Grid kind of is an additional Teferi. Doesn't help you combo off with Kitten, but between Defense Grid and Teferi, we should be able to beat up pretty well on blue decks. We also have a bunch of counter spells of our own, Flusterstorm and Force of Will. I'm excited to try this. I imagine that smarter brains than mine would find smoother ways to optimize this. But I'm going to try it as is. We're going to keep the Sapphire Medallions, and we're going to see if we can get some, some wins one way or another with this crazy cat business. Let's do this. This is Morgan's Kitten Tide. I'm on the draw in round one. I've revealed my Yorian. Anyone who keeps a hand thinking I'm death in taxes is going to be sadly disappointed. Speaking of sadly disappointed, Mystic Sanctuary is my third land. I'm a little worried about the Mystic Sanctuary and the two Tundras in the deck because Wasteland picking apart your combo deck sucks. Oh, come on. Do they think I'm death and taxes and they're just going to jam? Oh, no. What do I do? Okay. Turn one Chalice on the play. I can't high tide anymore. Well, time for Teferi to show up and uh, do Teferi things. Oh, shit. I just failed to play against Opposition Agent as well. I'm going to get clowned here. I guess I'm just never cracking this fetch land. Well, they had to do something eventually. They can't just leave up three mana for the whole game. But I'm not going to fetch an Opposition Agent. Okay. Old prison ox, whatever this is. Ugh. Okay, having a really bad time right now against this Chalice of the Void. If they do have Oppo Agent, now's the time. Okay. I guess if they decline to make a Construct, they could walk me into Pithing Needle. If I play around Oppo too long. Uh, I mean, my whole deck is, is Tutors, whatever. The land's more important than the third Merchant Scroll, so go ahead and steal it. I'll fetch in response. Oh my god, I'm so surprised. How do I actually win this game? And do I want them to see my deck? I could just concede. Yeah, so I have to come up with exactly Teferi in the main deck. All right, yeah, I'm going to I'm just going to concede. I don't want them to see what I'm doing here. I knew the agent was going to happen, but I was about to miss a land drop. I had to do something. And my whole deck being tutors is pretty fucked up right now. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's uh, adjust to what we know. Echoing Truth is good. Urkel's Recall is good. Brazen Borrower is good. Force of Negation is good. I like all of these things. How do I get them all in the deck? Eight is a lot of things. I think Medallion's going to be my go-to cut most of the time. I think it's just the worst card in the deck. I think it's it, like part of the engine, but it is where I'm going to reach a lot. Cloud's fine, Seeker's fine. All of these tutors are, are rough against Oppo Agent. I just need to, like now that I know I need to respect it, it gets a little easier. I think Teferi Kitten is going to be more reliable than High Tide against the Chalice deck. I think Brain Freeze will be fine. I don't think I can cut these Merchant Scrolls as much as I want to. Snap can get Oppo out of play. The cloud of fairies. Oh no. 
Now I'm starting to pick apart the actual engine of the deck. I only actually need two Lotus Petals in the deck to win. Uh, zero, or one if I am doing high tide stuff. I think Time Spiral is going to be really important. Yeah, I like Snap a lot. Uh, Fluster Storm is not going to be important. All right, I can cut that one. Good catch. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try it like this. Tough start to this league. Okay, I'm going to keep this hand. This one can fetch and do stuff and move the game forward before the, uh, the Chalice or Opposition Nation comes down, and I actually can fetch Tundra and Teferi's in my hand to deal with that kind of thing. And getting Wasteland, it would be so bad. But also giving them a turn to get set up for Dark Ritual Opposition Agent is bad too. It's crazy we just ran into this nightmare matchup with this deck that no one's ever seen before versus another deck no one's ever seen before, but happens to line up perfectly against mine. I'm just going to fetch the Tundra and cast Bonder. I'll take my medicine. Please don't have Wastelands in your deck. And I get a Force of Will. I found a Brazen Borrower. Not mad about that one. I kind of actually want this whole setup. The Scalding Tarn's a little risky. I guess I'm shuffling away one of these no matter what. Because I'm casting Merchant Scroll next turn. I think between the two here, Tide and Borrower are the most important. Expedition map. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. That could represent Opposition Agent, and I hate it. But if I pass the turn, then it definitely represents Opposition Agent. I guess I can just brainstorm and put this fetch land. Okay, don't even need to use the fetch land anymore. That's good. I'm going to fetch land Teferi on top. I think Teferi is the most important card in my hand right now. And play an island. Pass the turn. Because if I play Teferi, that forces them to commit the oppo in response, or I'll just know it and see it's coming. Dark Ritual. Okay. Don't kill me, please. Dark Ritual Expedition map. Okay. Storm is two. Atmosphere. All right. Actually, like, kind of fine. Trinosphere. I know my top card is a land. Do I just want to plus Teferi? I think I do. I'll at least put Teferi into play. And... I'm going to plus him. If they can kill him, you got me. But being able to bounce Trinisphere next turn and then try to make something happen sounds like a good way to go. Inventor's Fair, which is operational. Two cards left in the hand. There's no ley line, so I don't need to worry about Helm right now. Please don't eliminate my Teferi. It looks like they're trying to cast Chalice of the Void. It's a very tricky card to resolve on Magic Online under Trinisphere. Oh, Karn Silex. This is a new card. ETB tapped. Players can't pay life to cast spells or to activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Okay, so my fetch land that's on top of my deck doesn't play now. Let's see what I can do. Make sure I read all the words on this. X, tap, exile, silex, destroy each non-land, permanent mana value X or less. Okay, so this is a stacks piece that's also pernicious deed. Got it. I'm going to bounce Trinisphere. And see where this goes. Get that out of here. Second to fairy. Can't pay life to cast spells or to activate abilities. Yep, that includes fetch lands. I can brazen borrow the Silex. I could play the other to fairy, bounce the Silex, fetch. So I'm probably going to lose the to fairy this turn anyway. And maybe I just merchant scroll for high tide here. Yeah, I'm going to grab high tide and play my land even though I can't fetch it. They can decide if they want to play against Teferi next turn or lock out my fetch land. Can't do both. And using the pernicious deed mode here is rough because they have three permanents. Now it's four. Am I dead somehow? All right, there's the Trinisphere. Okay, now we're going to my turn. I'll draw another high tide. I'm going to plus Teferi and just pass the turn and go for an end step bounce on Trinisphere, then try to untap and win. Ooh, spending Lotus Petals to do Expedition map stuff. You're getting Saga to try to win the game. Okay, that's way too slow. The Silex is pretty sick, though. Another Void. Uh, 
I can bounce that with the fairy. All right, I'm going to Petty Theft Trinosphere in response. Get that out. And then Nether Void resolves, which I can bounce with the fairy and then go for a ride. I hope. Ooh. Um, all right, I, I do have to use the Teferi to clear the void or else none of this works. And they can destroy my Lotus Petals. Okay. Um, how does this work? High Tide. I mean, it's go time. It's now or never. High Tide happens first. And then if I tap for Blue Blue and I High Tide again, and then I can make Blue 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 which can cast Displacer Kitten, which doesn't do anything yet. I have to get a creature into play to get this snap happening. Snap's worth a zillion. So I can play Brazen Borrower and Lotus Petal. Snap Brazen Borrower. Okay. I'm going to cast Brazen Borrower. That gets me Time Spiral. Lotus Petal. Use Blue. Sucks I had to do it like this, but Snap the Brazen Borrower. Untap my two Tundras, and then these both tap for three. I can go white, blue, blue for Teferi, bounce Silex, and then fetch for another. Okay, fetch for another island. Now I'm free. Is there a spell I want on top of my deck? I don't think so. Island, then I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Probably just want to spiral here. Or hold up, hold up. I could kitten preordain liquor to fairy for some redraws. Does that do anything? In spiral clears. All right. Uh, spiral clears all the horrifying shit in their hand. I'm going to do that. And I get to untap all my lands, and we found the whole combo. All right, we're all set up. Locked and loaded. Displacer Kitten. And I'm going to cast the Spellseeker. I should have Spellseeked first to get another High Tide, but I'm having fun now. I'm going for the the moto, the uh, the Twitter screenshot at this point. High Tide. Okay, we flicker Spellseeker. Get another High Tide. This isn't even like the best thing to do, but I'm having a good time right now. Oh wait, it is the best thing to do, because I can chain all the high tides together and flicker the seeker a gazillion times. Right, this tide resolves. And then high tide, I still have a land drop even. Flicker spell seeker again. Get another high tide. And I'm going to play my land and get five blue. Now I'm going to flicker to fairy, because to fairy can bounce spell seeker. And I think that does more. Bounce Spellseeker. Ooh, Brainstorm. We like that one. Spellseeker. Storm is 13. One high tide left. High tide. I'm going to flicker the Spellseeker this time and just get Brain Freeze, let them know they're dead. Get the Brain Freeze. And then make seven blue. Brainstorm. Flicker Spellseeker again. No idea what the cleanest way to do this is, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. I'm going to get Snap. So Snap Spellseeker lets me make a zillion mana. So I Snap Spellseeker now. And Flicker to Fairy, because Spellseeker is leaving play anyway. Bounce that. Untap two islands. And Storm is 16. 16 times 3 is 42. Nope, 48. They have 49 cards in their deck. Let's play another spell. Spellseeker. I'm using a lot of time, but I don't care. This is the, the experiment round. Okay, now Brain Freeze is good for 54. I'm going to bounce Spellseeker and then Brain Freeze my opponent and see if they're dead. Okay, have you had enough? Clicker to Fairy on the way out. Maybe this is the Twitter screenshot. Maybe this one is better. This is pretty crazy. Okay, good shit. We got a win against this Nether Void Prison deck. Jesus, this is probably the worst matchup imaginable. 
Nether Void, Trinisphere, and Chalice, and Oppo Agent. Okay. Uh, the back end of Malevolent Geist, non-creature spells can't be countered, is good against Chalice and Nether Void. But I have to get Hermit into the graveyard first, and then replay it. And it can be countered by Nether Void, unlike the other things. Do I need this? And it can counter Void or the other things. A little worried. Hercules Recall looking better than I even thought. I'm on the draw this game. Ugh. Do all four high tides need to be in the deck if I have eight tutors for them against the Chalice of the Void deck? I guess is a, a reasonable question. Do I think Preordain or High Tide is worse if I'm going to start trimming things? Merchant Scroll can get Hercules Recall or Brain Freeze or Echoing Truth, so I, I want to leave that alone. Teferi and Cat are how I actually win the game. I'm going to cut a Preordain and a Tide and try it like that. Okay, this hand is Ice Cold to anything. I think I have to mulligan this. Opponent mulliganed. Me too. Alright, first appearance of Force of Will and backed up by Brazen Borrower. I'll take it. Now the trick is, do I bottom Lotus Petal or keep it on spec for the kitten payoff? Definitely keeping this hand. I think I'm sending the petal. Rather just have real stable lands, including the Tundra out of the Flooded Strand if I need it. Opponent kept five. All right, let's go. Lotus Petal. Please spend like three cards right now to put a card into play for me to force. Well, gonna have to force that one. And I am gonna pitch Kitten. I just think that Brazen Borrower gives me more options going along and immediately rewarded with a second Kitten. I knew that was there. That's why I pitched the first one. So fetching her on Opposition Agent first. Three mana and go from the opponent. I like that. Just start making land drops. You do have the oppo. That sucks. And this creature has flash, so bouncing it isn't even that good. Oh, geez, you're a wasteland deck too? I've been betrayed. Didn't really have a choice. They do have the agent. It's not like I could have uh, not done that. Spellseeker? Okay. I may search, so I don't have to. Oh. Oh, come the fuck on. Ghost quarter with oppo agent. This is what we're doing. Uh, do I even bounce the agent? Does it matter? Yeah, they get to take my land. Oh, no, I can, I can decline. I can decline. Don't worry. Yikes. All right. Well, we're seeing the uh, land destruction half of the deck now. Snap. Okay. That doesn't help me yet. Raucous. Oh, a four drop. Is this Karn? Jeez. Well, I mean, this might be a window. I can bounce the agent and then maybe do something. Liquid Metal Coating is here. I can snap the agent or YOLO my way into... I guess I could snap agent and bounce Karn and just hope that this draw step is like anything. All right, bounce Karn. All right, come on, land. Land, 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 land. Yes. Snuck that one right through, had it. I think I have to get Tundra. It's just part of the plan here. Get a tutor in while I can. I tied past my kitten, at least. All right, I'm going to try that. We're high rolling here anyway. Hope they redeploy Karn and not Oppo. The hand is Karn and Opposition Agent. Shit. I cannot be fooled. I need a Teferi. Uh, Snap's actually Busto here. Echoing Truth. Interesting. What do I do with this? If I High Tide, Echoing Truth, Oppo, that doesn't do anything. Casting the Cat doesn't help. I'm just like one short. The Wasteland and the Ghost Quarter together made it happen. Yeah, if I could High Tide Cat and then Echoing Truth the Agent... Oh, but the flicker would happen before the card leaves play, so that doesn't actually do what I needed to either. I could bounce Karn in response to Coding's ability. Oh, this sucks. Could just get Cat into play and bet on next turn when I have two lands and none of them are white and I can't search anything. Okay, I guess I'm just passing the turn. There's nothing good to do here. 
my deck built on one drops and tutors versus this Chalice Prison Opposition Agent, also Wasteland and Ghost Quarter deck. Fucked up stuff. Uh, okay, so I would have to bounce coding in response to Karn if I want this to work. Or I could bounce Karn in response to coding. Yeah, that, that's better. And then I need to rip a land that is not a fetch land here. Just getting Karn out of here now. I don't care if my land's an artifact if Karn is not in play to destroy it. That doesn't matter. Opponent's a 10. They've been tapping that Ancient Tomb a lot. I might just be able to go on the beatdown. Oh, that's actually really good. I get to attack my opponent, Force of Negation, and then cast Brazen Borrower and go on the beatdown. I do have to pitch cast this if I want the Brazen V, and I do because that's how I'm going to win this race. Yeah, I'm just going to pitch High Tide to that. Get out of here. It's attacking time. You attack me to five, I attack you to three, you attack me to two, you're dead. And Ancient Tomb messes with the math from there. Ning Needle, sure. Aiming to Fairy, probably. Yep. And if I draw a land, I can just put 2 2 creature into play, which is actually insane on this board. It's a little 4 mana 2 2. Okay, Brazen Borrower, let's go. Begin the beats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 4 mana 2 2 coming in hot. Mystic Sanctuary put Snap on top of the deck. Yeah, that's pretty sick. And Cat's off to you. Go. They tap Ancient Tomb. All my creatures are lethal. If they don't tap Ancient Tomb, I gotta figure this out with three cards. For what it's worth, I think I should have gotten Echoing Truth instead of Snap. But here we are. Mistakes were made. Living fast and loose out here. And we got the scoop. Mono Blue Tempo takes Game 3 after going High Tide Cat Game 2. Oh, this, this matchup, if you built your deck to beat my deck, it would look like this. I'm more scared of this than I am of eight pyroblasts out of painter. Horrible. But we did it. On to the next one. This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including Legacy and every other format you'll see on this channel. They have multiple customizations so you can view your deck how you want. Text view. Stacks. Grid. Custom grouping by type, subtype, color, light mode, dark mode. However you want to see your deck, they can provide it for you. My favorite feature is you can choose your set printing, make the deck look exactly how you want it to. The deck screen features expandable sections that show you what tokens your deck makes, your recent change history to the deck, stats about mana curve and opening hand distribution, mana cost distribution. You can deal out sample hands and even play test the deck. Island Ponder. You know I'm keeping this one. This site has everything. Follow me on Moxfield.com to keep up with decks I'm playing for the channel and what I'm up to in paper. I'll see you there. I'm on the play for round two. I'm going to keep Island Ponder. You know me. Having the Oracle in your opening hand kind of sucks, but if I can just hit land drops, we're in good shape. Big if, right? I'm for that Ponder. I would love to just see three islands here. That's zero. That was not the correct answer. No shuffle. Okay, found one. Found one. We're good. There's some consideration to running out Lotus Petal so it can't get discarded, but I'd rather surprise my opponent with what I'm capable of. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. The Brain Freeze and Oracle both being in my hand just sucks. I'm going to brainstorm this because I don't want either of these around. I want high tides. I get rid of those, and then I'm going to fetch and shuffle. I have another route to Tundra here, so I'm not going to expose myself to Wasteland. My plan is probably play to Fairy next turn, and then set something up for the turn after that. Like try to find a high tide somewhere, because we got Fairy and Spiral. Ooh, a red land. Don't like those, usually. That means Pyroblast. Oh! Or we can just draw high tide, easy game. I'm going to check interaction with the Teferi and then see if the game is over. All right, Teferi resolved. So Teferi's in play where 
can't win the game yet. Let's see if they're hanging out on a prismatic ending over there or what's going on. If I untap with this Teferi, we're going to crazy town. Ooh, they're passing the turn. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't know what they're doing, but Teferi resolved and then didn't get removed. That means it's party time. I'm going to plus Teferi. Play Lotus Petal. Play High Tide. Float. Four mana. Play Cloud of Fairies. It did not occur to me that the bait, this deck ha had Snowlands in it and that that would materially affect having Tundra mana and Snow mana because I have to decide which mana I'm clicking. That kind of sucks. I'm Magic Online. Don't do it like that. Do I use this Brainstorm to try to keep the party going? I guess the mana is free. Like, yeah, let's see what else happens. Ooh, a Snap and a Rita Fairy. I don't need two time spirals here. And I don't need Force of Will. So I can float more. Snap my Cloud. And tap two lands. And then play New Teferi. Keep this one. And then cast Cloud. Untap the Tundra and another land. And float. I might as well put a white in the pool, though I might regret it if Moto makes me click through it in an annoying way. I'm not activating Teferi yet. Might still want to bounce the... But yeah, that's the win. We did it. We did it, team. Uh, I should put Cat in first. And then I can High Tide, Flicker, the Cloud. Cloud untaps my islands. Oh, yeah. And the win is actually just on board already. Uh, I'm going to just execute it. We're going infinite. Turn poor goldfish. And we're in there. We're doing the thing. I can just merge and scroll for brain freeze at my convenience. And there's a medallion. Does that help? Do I even want to put it into play? Uh, sure. Uh, might as well. It's free. It flickers the... The fairy. The flicker fairy. Untap my things. And then make two mana for my one mana merchant scroll that nets two mana. Or nets way more than that because of the tides. And let's just brain freeze. Let's just, you know, let you know that you're dead. Cast another petal. Get our storm. Where it's undeniable. In real life, I would go for Oracle here. And these petals, so good. 17 is 54 copies of Brain Freeze on the stack. And that'll do. <laughs> wow, when your opponent's not casting Chalice of the Voids and shit, you get to do stuff. Okay, uh, we're against what appears to be a blue deck. And we saw two fetch lands and a basic mountain, but... I'm going to bet that's a blue deck. I want to respect Hydroblast. Or not Hydroblast, uh, Pyroblast. And I do that with Defense Grid. Do I just always bring in Brazen Borrower? Just is never bad. Malevolent we'll Hermit. Probably in the conversation. I don't know if I'm bringing all these in. These are just options. I'm going to shave the medallions. Not really about speed, it's about stability. All right, Brazen Borrower. I mean, Brazen Borrower can bounce it to Fairy or Narset. That's really tough. Yeah, all right, Level and Hermit's out. If I'm not bringing in Hermit in this matchup, what's it even for? So maybe the sideboard needs some work. A lot of Fairies is great. Cluster Storm's great. High Tide's great. All these cards are great. Maybe I don't need the speed of Lotus Petal. They're in the deck somewhere. I'll find it. Let's go. Oof, here's this Mystic Sanctuary punishing me for my sins of putting it in my deck. I think I'm still going to keep, though. Yeah, let's do it. Opponent didn't exactly come out guns blazing last round. I don't expect this to be a Wasteland deck. I'll just play my Mystic Sanctuary tap and take my time here. Ponder, you got it. Sanctuary, and I'll play the Petal. This does open me up to Prismatic Ending, which... I hope is not in the deck anymore. But I would like to hold up Flusterstorm. 
Like if they go for deafening silence and I force, they force back. That's worth a lotus petal to keep out of play. Okay, found a land, fetching immediately. Okay, more pondering. Is this a mirror match? Every card we've seen is also in my deck. Except the basic mountain from last game. Every card this game. High tide. All right. Uh, ponder. Find me the land. Okay, we got a land. There's another tide there. Uh, do not shuffle the library. And or there's another spiral there that we don't need. I'm going to preordain and bottom both of these because we don't need them. Found another preordain. Okay. Narset. This requires Force of Will's attention. Force pitching preordain, I think, is the one. This is why I left up Blusterstorm. Because that there are cards in the deck that are unbeatable. What was pitched here? Jace. Oh, this is a real control deck. Big ol' control deck. Ponder, find me more lands. Just need to hit land drops now. Keep them coming. Okay. Teferi and a land. Do I need Teferi? Not really. All right. Draw this land, play it, and pass. I can cycle Cloud of Fairies if I feel like I need to vary. Okay, you've got a to vary as well. I can cycle Cloud to put to vary on the stack this turn. I think that's worth doing. This picks up land number four and to fairies underneath it. Here is big to fairy. Do you have a pyroblast? Nope. Okay. I can't fetch Mystic Sanctuary and draw a card. Or draw a specific spell because it was in my opening hand. I'm going to bounce nothing and draw a card here. Merchant Scroll. All right. I am locked and loaded, ready to party next turn. Please don't Hall Breacher me. Don't have Pyroblast if they would have cast it, unless, like, the mountain is in their hand. Ponder. Okay. They tapped red, untapped it, and then cast Ponder off Basic Island. I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. All right. That's what that means. Fair enough. Not surprised. Ooh, three Teferi. I'm just going to Teferi up again. If I can keep this shield up, I'm going to. Cool. Return nothing. Can I draw a land? A snap. I already pitched my fairy, so that doesn't really help a cloud of fairies. It's weird that there's a fairy and a Teferi in this deck. Fairy, fairy, fairy. How many times can we make those phonetic sounds over the course of the league? I'll fairy my fairy, to fairy the fairy, 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 fairy. Fuck! That is the worst one. I would have preferred a Pyroblast. I would have preferred anything to that. Force negation in hand, that doesn't matter. Unless you also Pyroblast me right now. Then it matters a lot. Ugh. Okay. It's getting bad here, team. All right, Merchant Scroll, find me a friend. Do something. Is there anything that you actually do? Not really. I could just brain freeze my opponent and hope they deck. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just like high tide, ponder, snap, brain freeze you and hope you're dead. Hope you deck. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good plan. My echoing truths aren't in the deck. I can't search for petty theft, even though it is an instant, but it's hidden in the text box of a different card. It's bullshit if you ask me. Counter spells don't help. I guess I'll just grab the freeze. And pass. Maybe I should be putting Yorion into play. Like high tide. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm a land short of casting Yorion. Oh, oh, okay, sure. Going after my scrolls, that's fine. Gaze upon my hand of draw seven in the face of your Narset. Enjoy that. Barry's plussing again. Narset is revealing what? Another Pyroblast? What horrible fate befalls me here? Brainstorm, sure. Yeah, I mean, I guess just put Yorion into play is my primary game plan here. That's a way to attack Narset. I'm going to have to get through to Fairy multiple times, but it's okay. I'm after it. My plan. Base, okay. If you get too frisky with this, you might run out of cards. Be careful over there. Ooh, minus the Teferi on nothing when I just put a 4-5 creature in my hand. I guess Jace has a bounce mode too. There's nothing to really be too worried about. Okay, never mind. It's fine. See your cards. Lotus Petal. Okay. Um, 
high tide one two three four five yeah i don't like it i think i'm just gonna cast yorion just make my opponent react to me a little bit like i'm sure your hand has force of will pyroblast snapcaster mage you could just bounce it with the jace that's in play but putting something on the board that makes my opponent respect what i'm doing at all is where i want to be right now Okay, plus to fairy brainstorm with Jace. So they already have Yori on beat, is what you're telling me. Understood, loud and clear. And if they interact with it on my turn, that's more storm for brain freeze, though, which is kind of just this fair and square brain freeze is kind of my whole strat. And I'm going to attack Narset and see where this goes. I suspect the answer is nowhere. But if it goes anywhere, I'm excited. Swords of Plowshares, you got it. Can't snap that creature because. I can't cast instance. Okay. Um, I tied. And one, two, three, four. The fairy. And I have to fairy. Nope. Force pitching brainstorm. That's another storm for me. Lotus petal. Ponder that can't draw, but can look at cards. Oh, the brazen borrower's right there. So close. All right, I guess I'll just mill you for 18 and hope you die. <laughs> not pretty. Oh, it's not even 18. It's less than that. Storm is 7. Only 21. Oh, it is 21. It's Storm was 6. Okay. It's counting the brain freeze now. Oh, no. Fluster Storm. That's a good answer to this. I'm building up the second wave, though. Setting up a Brazen Borrower. I can pay for a bunch of these thanks to High Tide. I can't tell which ones are being targeted twice, so I might have just like lost one for no reason. All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like I paid for one that was being targeted twice. <laughs> Jesus. All right. No love. No love anywhere. Okay. I'm good. Uh, you win this game. Yeah, the, the Teferi was annoying. The Narset is just a lock. And now that I know, I guess I should have predicted this, but getting some... Uh, some echoing truths in the deck that I could tutor for on clear in our set is important. Echoing truth, echoing truth, and snap is less good. And I could treat the planeswalkers like they're Chalice of the Voids and bring in the Force Negations. Filing up on Defense Grid and Force Negation in the same deck seems crazy though. Maybe I don't want Defense Grid. But Grid's good against everything that isn't Narset. Alright. Force Negation, you're out. I'm sticking with the Narset. Echoing Truth to clear that thing plan. Snap is a little worse if they have creature removal. And Reardain actually seems good. This deck probably wants Mystical Dispute. That's a good card that I'm not playing. All right, I'm going to cut another Snap. Let's do it. Okay, Fluster Storm is here. Uh, some card selections here. Brazen Borrower. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to lead on Mystic Sanctuary again. 80 cards in my deck. Got one of those in my opener. Again. Mystic Sanctuary, go. To my opponent, probably looks like I play 100. And I hope they're running Great Bear Hate. Okay, just hitting land drops here. I'm not going to brainstorm. I don't have a fetch land. Nothing to really chase after on that. Certainly not into this easy Pyroblast. I could Spell Seeker right now. Or I could hold up Brazen Borrower. I'm going to seek some spells. Having multiple bounce spells in hand makes me kind of okay. Like, it, it sucks tapping out into Narset here, but Spellseeker can attack Narset. And bouncing with Teferi is not a good plan either. All right, let's grab a High Tide. I already have multiple bounce and interaction spells. That's not the, the fight. That's in the turn. So it's like Hall Breacher or just nothing. Or some spells. I guess I should attack with my spell seeker. If you're not gonna do spells, neither am I. Could just go aggro, like end step brazen borrower, start attacking, make them do something, make them respond to me. Respect me. Do it now. Narset. I'm gonna brainstorm in response to Narset, of course. Found a force of will. Alright, grid's not good till next turn, but it is pretty good after that. Maybe I let Narsa resolve, cast Brazen Borrower, and attack it, and then force the protection spell. 
No, that's crazy. I brought in Echoing Truth to answer Narset, and here's this Force of Will that I can use to answer Narset. And this way, I'm not tapped out to a Pyroblast follow-up. I'm making a move. Okay, now I have the, the very real decision of flustering this or going in on Brazen Borrower, attacking Narset, and then trying to go off with Flusterstorm on a subsequent turn. My top card is Grid. Is that actually good? It's not. Not helpful right now. All right, I may regret this for the rest of my days, but I'm going to let Narset resolve. Okay, they activated her immediately. I'm going to get Brazen Borrower in now before they can find a Force Will to counter it. Already made their land drop, right? Yeah, I went first this game. Oh, another Narset? Okay. I'm actually feeling very happy with my play right now because this lets me clear the Narset and deal one to my opponent even. Oh, I don't get to... I don't actually get to protect with Flusterstorm here. That sucks. If I had left the Lotus Petal on top of my deck, it would have worked. High Tide's on the stack. Force Negation pitching the Narset. Interesting. Uh, you got a deal, actually. Yeah, I could fluster this, but it doesn't go anywhere. All right, sure. I cleared the Narset, which was mostly my goal. I'm going to put Yorion in hand. Okay, I mean, I'm attacking here. Neither of these creatures are really great to bounce with the Planeswalker. Oh, you had three. Never mind. You were all set. It's all good. Just don't find Pyroblast, maybe? I guess good chance you already have one. Ace, all right. Well, if I untap, I can fluster a Pyroblast. Yeah, I'll just drop this grid. This will force the action on the Pyroblast if you have it. And I can't fluster on your turn anyway. Um, oh, force pitching fluster storm. Uh, I'm actually going to fluster this. Because I care a lot less about Jace if defense grid is in play. If this was all bait and the one mystery card in hand is red blast, oh god it is. Hate my life. Yeah, that was pretty good. And I do still get defense grid, and I can attack Narset to the point where she doesn't get activated again. Then I can flicker Spellseeker next turn. All right, I mean, this game's getting interesting. Defense grid, I hope, can keep me in it. Jace is brainstorming. Oh no, don't do it. God, there's so many Pyroblasts in this deck. It's not even fair. How's an honest wizard supposed to keep up? Okay, Mystic Sanctuary is fine. You at least got to do something to get that Pyroblast. All right, all right. You can have it. You just can't cast it right now. Deal. This lets me put another damage on Narset and then play Yorion and Tutor for something. Back Narset. There's the petal. Here's Yorion. It's cool that I actually get a flicker value. That doesn't happen much in this deck, I imagine. Okay, this comes back. Now I have two threats. And I know their one card in hand is Red Blast. Snap, kind of interesting, but I think I want the Echoing Truth. Yeah, I want to be able to, like, maybe I needed to just hope that they don't come up with two removal spells, but I'm also just not beating Narset. It's just not happening. And I know they have one removal spell already. We saw Swords of Plowshare still in the deck last game. I mean, I guess Plow would have to stay in the deck. Because they saw a Displacer Kit in game one. They had the Plow. We know they also have the, the Pyroblast. Passing my, to the passing the turn just means that I get to that Pyroblast costs more. Alright. I'm still attacking Narset here. And they could just hold a Pyroblast and stop me from high tiding and let Narset go, but I think that's wrong. Ooh, it happened. Exciting. Andra, let's go. Make something happen here. That is a, is a Displacer Cat. And a land. I can stack the Preordain, take the Preordain now, set up some cat business for next turn. Does that make any sense? Okay, so Kitten, land, Preordain. Don't shuffle. Pass Preordain. I'm just working through the Ponder. Down and dirty here. I'm going to put Scalding Tarn on top and Cat on top. I can't leave Cat on top because Jace is over there. And they could Fate Seal it away. 
We're going to get Cloud in because that's really good with Kitten. And it also pressures the Planeswalker. Could Echoing Truth Jace right now. Make them burn off that Pyroblast or recast Jace. Either one is like pretty agreeable to me. Then I don't really have a plan next turn. I'm just drawing some land. I think that's still fine. All right. I'm going to Echoing Truth Jace. Using the Red Blast to protect the Jace. Okay. We're in there. Jace activation, brainstorm mode. Have I mentioned how unfair it is that my opponent gets four cards a turn to my one? Just, just putting that out into the universe for anyone who wants to hear it. I'm going to attack Jace and just die to like Hall Breacher blocks. Starts with Plowshares for four mana. That's agreeable. Okay. Uh, that means Kitten can resolve. Wish I had like a ponder in my hand to untap, to flicker cloud and then ponder with two mana up. That would be sweet. Not what's going on here though. Jace being activated. And these creature beats have come up multiple times now. It's not bad. Just the motley crew of idiots who can turn sideways and pressure planeswalkers or life totals. Pretty good. This looks like a prismatic ending. Disappointed. Okay. Enough mana up to plow or reb. You probably don't want to give me a draw step if you have those things, though. Just just kill the cat. All right, we're untapping. Oh, no. They changed their mind in the end step. Oh, dress down end step. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Cat doesn't flicker. It still attacks Jace and gets Jace out of the game. Defense grid is still on. Let me tell you about two power. Back Jace the Mind Sculptor. I can and I will. And defense grid, putting in work, put the Jace in the graveyard. Okay, cool. Would be cool if I had Brainstorm in my hand that could protect Cat from removal now, but I'll take this double time spiral situation. We've attacked multiple Planeswalkers off the board so far this game. Brainstorm, fetch, ponder, so many cards. Did not shuffle, I hate that. Come on, good card. Oh, that's not a bad one. Let's see if they kill Cat in combat. And then I get to I'm Spiral. Where's the plus shares? Do it, do it, do it. I kind of actually want them to. Shark Typhoon. I've been betrayed by my dearest friend. That's all right. I'm going to get the Time Spiral here. We're back in business. Okie dokie, artichokies. Let's go. Uh, I'm not sure I can do all this in six minutes, but I'm going to try. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just a nasty naked natural time spiral. No cheats. Okay. Um, I tied. And what does scroll get me? Brainstorm. Is that even good? Uh, do I want the cat in play? It doesn't help yet. I can scroll for. I should ponder first. I ponder. Another spiral. Now we're cooking. Okay. No. And then I can make three mana here to spiral or scroll for another tide. And then we're taking another spin. Uh, I'll get the lotus petal into play. I don't want to redraw that. And then three, six, nine. Oh, I can actually play cat and then use the lotus petal for the spiral. That's so much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Fresh grip. I'm likely to time out here, but I'm going for it. Another spiral, and then uh, or another tide. I'm going to preordain, try to get something going. Bottom both of these. Oh, I can probably brain freeze my opponent here. Uh, if I go merchant scroll, storm is 11. If I get the freeze and then I play or right, 11, got to hold priority here. I'm going to cast Brazen Borrower. And then I'm going to force Brazen Borrower. And then I'm going to Fluster Storm Force. And I'm going to mill them for exactly their deck. God, if I can click through this Fluster Storm fast enough. We did it. Wait, that was exactly 15 storm with exactly 45 cards in the deck.
uh, found the hole and punched through it, navigating multiple planeswalkers. That was insane. Wow. On to the next round. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards. And you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. On the play for round three, I'm going to keep this hand. It does stuff. Got the cat, got the seeker. Force of will, so I'm not going to lose right away. I prefer games where I don't lose right away. Opponents on a Misty Rainforest strategy. Zenith, okay. A Zenith deck with Tropical Island, but not Yorian is really interesting. A Brainstorm. Is this like Infect? I'm trying to think of who even does that. I'm going to put back two of these lands. That's this. I mean, like, I want lands, but that's kind of a lot. And Preordain. Uh, I will take. I'm going to top top these. And then I can Spellseeker next turn for High Tide. And I can even pitch the Spellseeker now. Waddle, main phase, just trying to draw a card. Not pretty. Okay. This is probably a Lauren. If I had to make a guess, what 60 card deck would have the following cards in it that we've seen is like some sort of a Lauren. I'm going to grab High Tide. I got the cat here. Cat is a high tide payoff. Can't block. I would have traded with Dried Arbor. Better believe it. Okay. Um, I think I just want to play another Spell Seeker and pass the turn. Uh, I'll grab another high tide. Maybe that should have been Fluster Storm. I'm going to attack. I don't think you're going to block. That's what I thought. Coward. All Breacher in the end step. Let's see if I lose now. I pitch Cloud of Fairies. All right, cool. Unpunished. But now I know they're a Hull Breacher deck, something to be aware of. I'm gonna get Tundra in the upkeep and draw. Another Tundra, cool. Okay. High Tide. One, two, three, four. Splacer Kitten. Please resolve. Shit. Didn't resolve. Okay. Um,. What do I want back? I can Mystic Sanctuary a Brainstorm back and hope they don't have another Hall Breacher. It's max punished if they do. Begin the beatdowns. Oh god, I'm so fucking dead. Alright, cool. Alright, I've lost this game. Maybe I'm supposed to uh, High Tide Yorian plan to flicker both things. All right, yeah, this is just some, like, creature attacking deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, high Tide gets me Yorian. I can also just put Yorian in my hand and take 4 one more time. Yeah, that attack might have been bad. A, a basic swamp in the mix. Oh, can't cast that. Yorian, go. Two forces pitching Leovold and Bale for strikes. All right, this is, this is just some sort of 60-card bug Xena thing. Oh god, Oppo Agent 2. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I get it. I've had enough. Some bug prison business. And maybe if I don't attack, but I mean, if you, you're just going to have two horse of wills, I don't know what to say to you. But maybe not attacking is better. Okay. Uh, Echoing Truth and Brazen Borrower coming in. And all these creatures that can flash in and surprise me i don't really like but i also don't like if they're just cast in the main phase and the turn is passed either medallions out per the huge uh lotus petal don't need all of those Luster storm hits force of will force of will hits everything brain freeze has been the cleanest win maybe this oracle just doesn't belong on magic online as much as i like a deterministic win snap seems really good Cloud can chill, and one more card has to go out. Fairy's really good. Maybe it's just another petal. Let's do it. 22 lands is really low for a Yorian deck, but we're also a high tide combo deck. So I think, I think I'm willing to push it. Especially in this hostile league full of opposition agents. What the heck? I've never seen that card in Paper Legacy in my life, and we hit it twice in the same Moto League. It's out of control. 
The odds are stacked against me. I'm going to keep. This could very well be a Wasteland deck. But once again, Mystic Sanctuary is in my opener. What, what are you going to do? I'll play the Sanctuary and pass. They've got a Misty Rainforest again. Zenith again. Regrettably, Bright Arbor is a land. So Echoing Truth cannot hit it. I'm going to put away definitely one of the fetch lands and maybe just another fetch land. I'm going to fetch now. They're untapping into three mana, which is the bad number. Swamp means makes opposition agent. Okay, just Baleful Strix this round. All right, now it's time to start putting Teferis on the stack. Check in your counter spells. Trying another non-fetch land is pretty great. Force pitching Kawadal, you got it. I can do that again next turn. They pile too many creatures on the board. It's not going to matter if I resolve to fairy. Another Strix. The Arbor did not attack. Interesting. Some um, two mana spell. Hardcast Days. What's happening here? Oh, putting Kawadal in. Okay. That's still not five. Please don't have Questing Beast. Could also just die to Aluren right now. Ignoring Teferi, go and face. Must have like Abrupt Decay or something. Wrist. Uh, yeah, that works. Force of Will, JK. Why would I have that card in my hand? Okay. Teferi is slain. Two cards left and not three mana up. Like, if there's a time, it might be that time. What does Merchant Scroll even get here? I can high tide, high tide scroll with three, four floating. Or high tide, then high tide, leave one floating here. Three, seven scroll. Scroll doesn't even like do anything. I just get brainstorm and hope it doesn't get countered. Maybe that's the best I can hope for. This is falling apart quickly. Or I could show some patience, put Yorian in my hand. Try not to die. All right, I'm going to scroll now. Show a little patience. They can't oppo, can't fluster. I think I want brainstorm. They can fluster now. Still think I do it. Okay, no fluster storm. Good news. Lotus petals, bad times. And I don't think I need brazen borrower and outgoing truth. I'll get a shuffle off now. Ponder. Okay, force of will and kitten are both present. Are those actually good? And if they are good, what order do I want to draw them in? I think I want to get Kitten into play, but Grist can just kill it. That doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm going to put Force of Will in my hand now. Cloud is under it. I can cycle Cloud to get through this faster if that's where the game ends up. All right, plus Grist. Put a Plague Engineer in the graveyard. Some attacks coming through. Here's Cloud of Fairies. I can play it. Or I could just not do that instead. I could put Yorian in my hand. That actually doesn't seem embarrassing. Wrist is making another jerk, putting Opposition Agent in the graveyard. I know my top card is Kitten right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five damage on the board. They could Hull Breach me if I cycle Cloud. But like Cloud isn't doing anything in my hand. And it's a creature I can put into play and flicker with Yorian, I guess. That's not a good reason. I'm going to cycle Cloud. I'm in the YOLO space now. They have like Hull Breacher plus Veil of Summer. Good for you. All right, come on. Time tomorrow. Okay, Ponder's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's go time. I'm going to cast High Tide into High Tide, and then I'm going to Ponder and see where we end up. Ponder with the last floating mana. Spellseeker, you're not bad. My lands tap for three right now. Okay. Spellseeker in my hand. Cast Spellseeker. Yes. Search for Snap. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Play the kitten with exactly Snap mana left over. And I can force. They need two pieces in our action here. Or one uncounterable one, I guess would do it. I mean, even if they abrupt decay now, I can just snap this seeker. Okay. Um, I guess I probably snap insect token because seeker gets bounced anyway. Yeah, this is the same thing. 
Except I don't have to recast the Spellseeker. Petty Theft. Horse Pitching Yorion. Which also flickers Spellseeker. Whether it gets countered or not. So I get to search for... I get to do stuff now, is what I'm saying. I think I just... Alright, they're conceding from the game. We got through the walls and... Yeah, now I get to just like snap off with the Spellseeker and float a bunch of mana along the way. And I, at the end of the chain, I probably just get Ponder, which also like then the, then each cantrip also flicker spell seeker getting the next cantrip. And yeah, that's actually, I don't think I realized how messed up that is. Like once you snap and have a zillion mana in the pool, you just cantrip flicker spell seeker, find the next cantrip. And then that your first cantrip, you're just looking for a spiral and then eventually you win or to fairy and eventually you win. Cool. All right, that worked out pretty well, whether I like it or not. Okay, um, I'm going back in. I like the defense grid. It looks like their plan is to beat me on the board more than on the stack. And that lets me know what's going on. Horse of Will and some stuff to do. I'm going to keep. Ooh, um, this is interesting. I'm feeling dirty right now. I'm pitching Preordain. I'm going after this Hierarch. If you're going to lead on Basic Forest in your three-color deck, I'm coming after you. Coming for you. Ooh, all right. A Teferi, a Preordain, and another Teferi. I like those things. I'd love to see a land drop mist here and just pass the turn. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Another green source that is not a good green source. Teferi can bounce that thing next turn. Wow. Um... Am I ready for Kitten? I think so. Top, top. Keep them both. And I guess I need to fetch now. Fetch is going to get me anyway. If I wait till next turn, make my land drop, fetch, and then they make Oppo in response, I could fetch with the other land, let Oppo resolve, echoing truth, and then bring it back around. Okay. Are you naming Fairy? Is that the plan? Or Human? Name Human. All right. So Spellseeker doesn't work, which makes Kitten worse. But I have a Gwing Truth in my hand. Yeah, it's fine. I'll keep the kitten. I'm going to search up two Tundras here. White, blue, colorless. And I think I actually want to bounce. I'm going to bounce Plague Engineer. Because if they don't have a land, they can't replay it and attack to Fairy. And this Flash Hate Jerk deck definitely needs to Fairy to be out of play. Zenith for one. Okay. Double Hierarch. This is getting interesting. I could just play to fairy plus I could brainstorm. I could put cat into play and pass the turn. I think I just want to put cat into play and pass the turn. If there was only one mana dork here, I'd play to fairy and bounce it. But each of these can attack and remove to fairy. And I do actually want to fairy with the cat right here. Like we're so close. That's in trophy. Sure. I will take the ramp here. In for two. Good stuff. Exalted. Busted. Okay, I'm going to start with a Teferi. Force of Negation. I'm going to brainstorm in response to that. Found another Teferi. All right, that's fine. Um, put back Brain Freeze and Teferi. And that's countered. And a Snap Dried Arbor. An Echoing Truth Noble Hierarch. I'm just coming for you now. Coming at you. I have no idea if that's good or right, but it just happened. I'm going to brainstorm here. Oracle and brain freeze. Uh, that's actually not the worst. And it's not good, but it's not the worst. So I get to put these two back. Ask to fairy again. Bounce noble hierarch. That's the better of the two. And then I can play Thassa's Oracle for scry mode. It also blocks the Dryad Arbor, importantly. Uh, another Teferi on top. I'll put the Teferi on top of my library. That's all of them. It's there. And then I can decide if I want to Mystical Sanctuary or not. Hierarch's back. Trophy. Okay. Uh, I am going to want a Mystic Sanctuary. I will take the Shuffle. Sanctuary gets Brainstorm. Is that the best hit here? Yeah, I think so. Mystic Sanctuary. 
rebuy. Uh, ponder might actually be better. Emergency shuffle if necessary. Or maybe I should just cast Yorian. Attack for one, then cast Yorian and look at the top four cards in my deck. That sounds fine. In scrappy creature mode again. Okay, Yorian, Flicker, Oracle. Oracle comes back, get to look at my top four. And I will keep Spellseeker on top. We know they have the Plague Engineer, but I'm not that worried about it right now. Okay, just leaving cards untapped. That's representing Hull Breacher to me. We attack with the Orion. Take your four. Uh, I guess this could be representing Oppo Agent or Hull Breacher. It kind of get me either way. All right, whatever. They know about Ponder. They don't know about Spellseeker. All right, so you do have the Oppo. It's cool. That means I get to resolve Ponder. Uh, decline Spellseeker's ability. Cast Ponder. Um, Preordain. These cards are not good. Uh, Spellseeker would have been good without the Oppo in play. And casting Preordain and bottoming those two cards is like shuffling Ponder, but costs one mana. And I ended up with one of the cards anyway. It's all good. Yorian, win me this game. Four point chunks. Getting scrappy once again. Opponent's also attacking for four, though. Oh, they didn't attack at all. Cool. Oh, right, because I could... No, I can't even double block. It was a it was a 4-3. And I'm not going to play this land into the Oppo Agent. Fully expect Hall Breacher right now. Oh, wow. I did not expect that right now. Let's Fluster Storm that. <laughs> okay. All right. It got me real good on that one. Collected Company. I guess that makes sense. That's a, a card that ties all of the... Crazy nonsense we've seen together. Uh oh. Caracas is good against Yorion. Like, kinda, I guess. Not gonna block here. It's a 4 3. I can't even get a trade. Okay. I'm going to attack with Yorion, see if it gets bounced. Did not get bounced. Cool. I'm just gonna pass the turn. Probably gonna Coco me again here. Just leaving all this mana up. Alright, that's why I didn't cycle yet. Wanted to wait for that to happen. All right. Falling apart quickly here, squad. Got a Baleful Strix on the stack. Now my opponent doesn't even need to bounce Yorion. Yeah, this one's slipping away. I don't have this many answers in my deck. And my life total is not going to hold up very long. Uh, disappointed. All right. They got me. I'm not getting through this. It, I would need to draw multiple answers... And I don't have like dismember or real removal. I could bounce these things, but they all have flash, so they come right back down. I was pretty aggressive in the early game trying to mess with their mana. And despite playing the game on basic forest, basic swamp for most of it, the the first like six or seven turns, they got through three to fairies and a displacer kitten. Good stuff. On to the next one. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop. And be sure to use the code Boston Roll for 10% off when you check out. I'm on the draw for round four. This hand is pretty bad. I'm going to mulligan it. Okay, this one at least does stuff. We might see an opportunity for Sapphire Medallion to shine here, which hasn't happened yet in this league. But a low resource game like this is exactly when you'd want to do that. All right, I think I got to send Spellseeker here. I either do this unprotected and send the Fluster Storm, or I bottom one of the tutors, and I think Spellseeker is the worst one because it costs more. Opponent's on a Malta 6 with a Marsh Flats and a Ponder. Okay. Marsh Flats for Underground Sea Ponder is a Storm. I don't think I've seen a Marsh Flats in Doomsday, unless it's like the Esper Doomsday that like pivots on to being a... Monastery Mentor deck post board. That might be what's happening. I'm going to pass holding up Flusterstorm this turn. I can ponder next turn and I get to see an extra card before I miss my land drop if I wait. Or am I just getting Stoneforge Mystic right here? Baleful Strix. Okay. This could be Check Pile. All right. Moment of Truth and Terror. Island Ponder. Please reward me. Oh no. I'm going to have to shuffle this and in trouble. 
Okay, I'm not holding up Flusterstorm. Missing land drops here. Ice cold to him to Tarok. Sticking it to Fairy here would be pretty rough on me. Ledger Shredder, okay. Seems to be a follow up spell. Hope it's not Thoughtsies. Please cast Ponder. Wall Therapy, okay. Uh, I'm extremely interested in this. And they can flashback sacking the Strix, which is pretty effective. Oh, discard another Cabal Therapy. I mean, they could beat my hand up pretty good. Probably the blind name's probably Brainstorm. That's just like a card that is good. That is probably in or could be in my hand, and it actually is. All right, Force of Will. That's a swing and a miss. How many of your creatures would you like to sacrifice to ruin my hand? The Baleful Strix probably isn't doing much. They could like take my brainstorm, leave me just chilling here. They could take two cards if they named a fairy. Also, this deck full of reveal tutors with Merchant Scroll and Spellseeker, pretty awkward against Cabal Therapy. Name Brainstorm. All right. Bye, Brainstorm. Nice knowing you. Ah, sucker. Had the land. I don't know if this is a Brainstorm or a Wasteland deck. I don't know if I can afford to play around it. Ugh. I hate this. All right, I'll play an island and sapphire medallion. Just see where we can go with this. Brainstorm from the opponent. And another ledger shredder, which triggers the first ledger shredder. Discarding Lake of the Dead. Fascinating. Oh, is this that demigod of revenge deck? That's certainly a deck that exists. I've, I've queued into it a few times. And it would make sense to have Ledger Shredders in a Demigod of Revenge deck alongside Lake of the Dead. Also makes sense why they would th Blind Therapy Force of Will if they have a combo end in the deck. Wait, mana? No love. Alright, I'm going to trigger these Ledger Shredders. Cannot be avoided. I'm going to put the land in my hand and then I'm going to Merchant Scroll. I'm going to get a High Tide, hold up Flusterstorm for a turn, and... Hope there's another turn. It's guarded force of will. Not interested. Which means they have my combo covered. Got discarded force of will into fairy. Those are two of the cards I'm most scared of. Um, could get snap here, but that doesn't actually do anything. Nah, it's just high tide. Let's go. Brainstorm. Okay, storm is one. And Ponder, which is going to connive through the two cards that were just put back with Brainstorm. Archon of Cruelty discarded and Intuition. Yeah, this is some sort of reanimator thing. I think the Lake of the Dead indicates Demigod of Revenge, which seems like a weird thing to say, but I've just seen it before. And lining those, those facts up leads to a, a certain type of conclusion here. Okay, here comes my damage. So I would love to draw a Tundra here, or a Route 2 Tundra. I want to play to land. Three cards left. Bummer. That's not what I needed. Yeah, I'm just dead. Can't even do anything. Okay. Yeah, we're out of here. That was uneventful. Maybe I should have kept the, the four lander on seven. Okay, so I think this is a surgical matchup. It seems like it's probably... Do I want Echoing Truth? I don't think so. Force of Negation, Raisin Borrower. Might be a Malevolent Hermit matchup. I keep looking for a spot to play that card. Sapphire Medallion, once again. You tried, buddy. That, that was your game one situation to try to do it out. Uh, I, my initial impressions on Sapphire Medallion, I think, are holding up that it is... Not really where we want to be. Cloud of Fairies gets a shave here. Cluster Storm actually seems good. Defense Grid's awkward because they seem like a combo deck that I want to... Oh, my Yorion somehow ended up in my deck. Don't come in here, buddy. That's not where you go. They seem like a combo deck where I want my forces, which means I don't want to play Defense Grid because if I grid up and they just kill me, it's pretty bad. Okay. Uh... Interaction up and some of the untap enabler stuff is out. This one looks a lot better. I'm going to keep it. Can interact with an early spell. I'm hitting land drops. Let's go. 
opponent with the Marsh Flats pass. Ooh, brainstorm. I like that card. I'm just going to pass here. A crack and a fetch. Is it a Baleful Strix again? Or is it Shredder time? Is Strix. Okay. I'm going to brainstorm in the end step here. Don't think I need Brazen Borrower. And I could get rid of Spellseeker. And then I can Merchant Scroll for High Tide and hold up the Luster and Force. I think that makes sense. And with the kitten in hand, I hate to see Spellseeker go, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Merchant Scroll. Grab a High Tide, making Cabal Therapy as good as it's ever gonna be. Just face up, powerful card worth taking. Brainstorm, okay. Storm is one. It's in the brain. Here comes one damage. Ooh, Lake of the Dead time. What are we doing with all this? Tarak Dread Cantor? I don't think so. I'm going to force pitching Preordain. Or is Preordain important? And it's all important. All right, I'm going to pitch Preordain. I think high tiding into Cloud and getting Kitten into play is all going to be important. Force pitching to Fairy. Cluster your force. That's what we're here for. Still black in the pool. I hope it's not doing anything. Rocks in the graveyard. And the black burnt off. Come on, pay off spell. That's not it. Okay, what can I do here? I can high tide, then cast cloud, which will give me two, four, six. I can, can I play Yorion. I can put brainstorm on top of my deck. Is that even helpful? I don't think so. By high tide, I have two, four, six mana. Cloud goes down to four, then up to eight. I could get and cast Yorion, putting Brainstorm on top of the deck. All right. High tide. Cloud of Fairies. Untap my two lands. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cast Yorion. None of this is exciting. I do get to untap two more lands, though. That'll show you. I wish you were and bounce that fairy to my hand where I could cycle it. Not a lot of help in play. Off kitten had flash I could put into play right now. That would be cool. None of these things are real. Living in a fantasy land. Uh, their only land in play is Lake of the Dead, though, with no other swamps to sacrifice. We'll see how that goes out for them. They went pretty hard on that to rock with force backup. Extracting your own Marsh Flats. That's just a desperate shuffle after a brainstorm. I'm not really sure what just happened. Is it a misclick? I don't know. Unclear what just happened. I'm drawing brainstorm. I think I want to get the cat into play and then figure out brainstorm later. Because all my cards get better with cat in play. That's how this deck works. Um... I'm actually going to offer this trade because A, I don't think they're going to take it. And B, if they do, then Yorian and Cat get to start crashing for six instead of Fairy for one. And that turns off Cabal Therapy on the back end. Oh, ho, 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 ho. tell me more. All right, let's party. Spellseeker, get in. Okay, so I want... Do I start with High Tide? High tide. Cast high tide, flicker, fit cloud. Cloud comes back into play, untap two lands. Now we're in the high tide. Then I'm going to brainstorm a flickering spell seeker. Just any one drop gets my lands untapped or gets me another spell seeker. Should I be snapping now? Snap gets me spell seeker and cloud back. Yeah, I think I want the snap here. And then I brainstorm. There's Teferi and a second high tide. Don't need Merchant Scroll. We're already doing plenty of that. And does high tide replace the snap here? I really want Teferi in the mix. Okay, I'll put back the high tide. And I'm going to snap loud, flickering Spellseeker. I'm going to search for another high tide. Or do I want Flusterstorm? I'm about to untap a bunch of lands. 
I'm just going to get Fluster Storm, protect my Teferi, and tap these lands, and then white, blue. I'll start with Cloud, untap my lands, and then uh, I don't actually need to spend mana here, which might help because I'll end up with another high tide before I need to do anything else. Bellseeker, flicker there. Okay, they've had enough. Uh, they see where this is going. Cool. All right. Navigated that one. They went for a big turn on, went all in on Turok, and it just didn't do enough. So good job, me. Don't think anything changes here. Turok's kind of scary. Do I want all these force negations if Turok is the payoff? But Turok's probably not the only payoff. Are they hard casting that Archon we saw in game one? I'm not convinced of that. My Brazen Borrowers are in. All right, yeah. This is still the deck I'm going to submit. This hand is mega bad. One preordain to tie it all together and Oracle that doesn't do anything. I'm going to mulligan. Oh no, it's gotten worse. Can't wait to be on five cards against the discard deck. Oh, it's still bad. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one, though I'm not, not happy about it at all. I'm going to put back Lotus Petal and Nap. Or maybe I just need to kick Time Spiral to the curb until I'm ready for it. I feel like I need this Force Negation to have a chance. All right, I'm going to bottom the Time Spiral and hope to find that later when it matters. Here's this Mystic Sanctuary as my land drop once again in my 80 card deck, the one Mystic Sanctuary. This has happened, what, four times now? More? Luckily, we haven't seen Wasteland yet, so we can still take this slow ponder route. Okay, here's my land. Don't show me Wasteland now. Not the time for, to reveal that Wasteland's in your deck. Dark Ritual, yikes. I'm going to force that because I suspect... This is going to cast something that I can't force. Cool. All right, resolves. I'm dead. Yeah, there's the Turok with Kicker. Snap is in my hand, which means that if I draw a land, we're actually like stable to okay here. Land, please. My life is a world of pain. I can take a few hits from Turok. Not that many, though. How about that land deck? Oh, cool. I mean, that is a zero cost spell. If I get to Displacer Kitten, I can do stuff. I'm also now insulated against the reanimator half of the deck, whatever that is. Wall therapy. No chance. I mean, maybe you named Displacer Kitten, but probably like High Tide is the name. I know Snap and Surgical are safe. Yep, High Tide was the chosen card name. Good effort, but wrong. Okay, deck, that land, you know. Still waiting on that. Uh, not a land. Now it's awkward because my opponent found their land drop. So there's no certainty that bouncing this to rock will result in my opponent not just recasting it. I, mean, I could surgical extraction force of will, or I could just take my beats and, and let this happen. I have totals of resource, right? Okay, another threat. We're in trouble. Okay, I get a turn. Ooh, nice. And I guess I'm going to snap to rock, though I don't like it. Wish that happened three turns ago. Here we are. I mean, a land puts Displacer Kitten onto the stack next turn with Surgical to flicker it. That's not nothing. Did not shuffle. Bummer. Uh, Cabal Therapy. Cool. A card I could have Surgical Extracted, but I don't believe is correct to do that. I think they're going to name Displacer Kitten, but we'll see if there's something I need to Surgical. Nope. Alright, I'm about to lose my Kitten here. And if they go after Surgical, I guess it's fine. That probably means I'm getting combo killed somehow. But Kitten is definitely the scarier card. Oh, they took the Surgical. Fascinating. Am I getting demigodded right now? Land. Oh, yeah. Cat's off to you. Here's this card. I know they have Turok in hand, which now doesn't discard anything. 
But they did just strip my surgical last turn, indicating that maybe they're doing something big this turn. And if I can string together, like, Spellseeker and another turn, we're not, we're not dead. Ah, uh, sad times. Bad mana. You love to see it. Except you don't, because it's bad. I'm going to put Yorian in my hand. Three damage coming through. I'm not going to trade Displacer Kitten for Turok. Kitten is my only chance to win this game. Oh, a second Turok. Did you know your attack was lethal if you did that first? Not interested. Okay, deck. What do you got for me? A brain freeze. I think I could get him. I mean, I could block Turok and brain freeze and flicker before damage. That, that's something. And brain freezing my opponent who is a reanimator deck sounds like a bad idea. And maybe I'll brain freeze myself. Oh, Spellseeker was the top card. If only I had more time. Yeah, this game's over. I don't even know what I could draw. Like, Brainstorm doesn't even help me because I don't have enough cards to cash out on it. All right, Preordain. Let's go. Brainstorm and land. Yes, I'll top top. That doesn't even make sense. All right, we're just dead. There, there's no way out of it from here. The multiple... Him to Tarox resolving, missing land drops, missing the color when I drew to fairy. Just didn't quite line up, but we did manage to thread the needle once this league or this match. That was pretty good. On to the final round. I'm on the draw in round five. I am going to keep this hand. It does stuff. I can play my lands, play the medallion. The medallion actually has things worth reducing in Spellseeker. Let's go. I have no interaction, so. Opponent, please don't do anything. Opponent's on the mall to five. Are we a busted combo deck? Yup. Faithless looting. How about you discard things that are not reanimator targets? Nope. Two really good reanimator targets. That works too. Come on, force of will. All right, brainstorm. You're saying there's a chance. I am going to cast this brainstorm. And I am going to do it now. And I'm going to be punished. I'm going to put Brainstorm and Snap on top. And Snapping Grizzlebrand isn't great, but it also gets something started. Dark Ritual. Boo. Boo. I'm losing my high tide here for sure. Or it maybe they'll take the Snap, like if I can trick them into thinking that that's my interaction spell. That would be a hard sell, though. Like, I think it's just high tide. But I would love if they take snap, but because I hid the other copy on top. And they did take the snap. And Grizzlebrand's coming back. Let's see how many other cards get discarded here. Because I can high tide into snap into medallion into spell seeker next turn. If my hand is still intact, which is a big if. But I can try. I can dream. Swamp, Lotus Petal, here it comes. Another Lotus Petal. Another Dark Ritual, oh my god. Let it rip. In what ways am I deceased? Another Exhum. That brings back Grief. This one's going to take High Tide. Bummer. Yep, that was my chance. Ooh, Entomb. There's more. We're not done. Narcon, please reanimate it. Please reanimate it. Cast reanimate. Third exhum. God damn. All right. We're, we're very, very dead. No way out of that one. All right. Yeah, just got shit housed on the draw by a faster combo deck. High Tide is not known for its speed. So uh, faster combo decks. I mean, High Tide is known for its interaction, though. But this is not High Tide. Not entirely. It's this crazy Yorian amalgam of things. I think it's Hermit time. I'm going to make it happen. And I'm not going to Oracle win. I'm just going to cut Oracle. Brain Freeze will get the job done. And Snap. If there's anything worth snapping, I'm already dead. So I'm going to cut that one. Let's do it like this. I'm passing on the Brazen Borrowers on the play. I'm going to try to execute my plan. We'll see where it goes. No interaction. I just got a mulligan this. Uh, I hate it. All right. 
all the times my one of Mystic Sanctuary was in my hand. I'll take the one of Surgical now. Keep this and send. I think I gotta send Kitten. Like, it sucks shipping Kitten when Teferi's right there. But what can you do? It took a mulligan. Is what it is. Preordain, uh, found a backup kitten. I'm gonna top top these actually. I like the hermit. Unmask, cool. See you later, surgical extraction. It was nice hanging out with you for a while here. Lotus petal. Dark ritual. Oh yeah, I'm so ready to concede this game already. Okay. Yeah, I'm not beating a grizzle brand. The top of my deck is displacer kitten. I have no recourse here. That was a quick one. Yuck. All right, what started out strong, we, we did start this league 2-0 and then ran into some rough ones or I guess drifted back towards the aggregate. I think that the deck wants one or two more lands. I think it does not want Sapphire Medallion. Something like the turnabout that I mentioned earlier could get you up. Uh on your high tide lines into crazy mana zone. The Spellseeker Kitten stuff was honestly insane. That was really, really good. I wonder if the deck should just focus more on that. But Time Spiral was responsible for some wins as well. Yeah, I think that Sapphire Medallion is the weakest link. Snap occasionally didn't have a target. Like, your deck does produce targets. You're not relying on your opponent to give you something to snap. But... These are, it, it, is, it adds multiple pieces to your, your mana engine if your opponent isn't providing creatures for you to bounce. Maybe you don't need turnabout, and I would just want like three brazen borrowers in this sapphire medallion spot. If you just load up on that interaction and the juke in game one, that gives you a lot more options. The Sapphire Medallions could also just become Cunning Wishes, and we move the sideboard around a little bit because we frequently couldn't bring in everything that we wanted to because there wasn't enough to cut. If we just make the sideboard into a wishboard, that kind of preempts that. And then the Brain Freeze gets to go into the sideboard as well, and we don't really need Oracle anymore because we can get a Blue Sun Zenith. Yeah, that does start moving things around. Uh, I'm not going to change all this because we're getting really into... Uh, kind of build a new deck territory and I am not able to do that right now but these are the the building blocks to to get you where you're going to go if if you want to pursue this this crazy brew which I don't blame you uh, but yeah sapphire medallion become like another island and two cunning wishes and brain freeze becomes a third cunning wish oracle can be the fourth cunning wish and then in the sideboard, you have like Blue Sun Zenith, Brain Freeze, Turnabout, Meditate. That'll give you some options. You could even Cunning Wish for the one Surgical Extraction in the main deck if you need it. Yeah, that's starting to come together in my mind. I like it. I'm going to leave this here. This was a really cool deck when it all came together. It's really hard to get it all together. There's a lot of moving pieces. All the pieces are blue. It's Pyroblast World. And... We're apparently also soft to Opposition Agent and Hall Breacher, so you're just playing into every lock piece. Narset's tough, Teferi's tough, <laughs> so it's a, a tall mountain to climb. I would want some sort of interaction in the main deck, even if it's like Cunning Wish for Echoing Truth, just something to do something in the main deck once a non-creature permanent resolves would be nice. Morgan, thank you for this deck. It was a lot of fun. Sucks that the back end of the league fell off and we couldn't convert the positive record but we did get some great games in there threaded the needle a few times when i didn't think we were going to win a game and we just like shithouse some people who weren't ready for what we were doing got to show the full range of experiences with this deck to comboing off on turn four to beating down through a wall of planeswalkers and taking a crazy grindy game to just uh dying on turn one twice because we didn't have interaction all experiences lived and witnessed here today. Morgan, thanks again. Everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the video description, the Patreon and stuff that support the channel. And I'll see you next time.